Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to the channel and today I'm gonna to be trying to recreate what could have been the concept of a personal flying car has been a staple of the future for a very long time now so long in fact that I think we've gone through multiple futures so where are the flying cars we should be in the future by now so to solve this problem I'm actually gonna be looking into the past believe it or not some comments pointed me towards a flying personal VTOL vehicle called the Mahler Sky Car. And this was supposed to be the thing that brought flying car technology into the present. But it seems much like many other VTOL ideas before it, this also resulted in failure. Let's take a look at the Mahler Sky Car. All right, so they actually have their own website, just simply Mahler.com, which seems like a great place to take a look at what this Sky Car is all about. So in my research for this Sky Car, I've seen about 10 different models of this thing, but I'm going to try to do it based off of this model right here, which seems to be the most recent one depicted on the website. So if you go to Skycar, you can see the drop down menu already gives a couple of different models. You have the Skycar 200. So this one you can see only has two engines here, which I think will be a little bit harder to get functional. So we're going to go to the Skycar 400 and this one has four engines, which is going to make it kind of like a quadcopter style, which I think will be a little bit easier easier to control but just looking at it I'm already seeing issues that I don't know if they would have been issues in real life but they're gonna be issues in trail makers but before we get to those issues let's look at how this thing was intended to function you can see you can get an idea from the pictures over here but there's actually some video of this thing so this is a real life prototype that was built so you can see that all of these uh, propellers are designed to be able to angle upwards and downwards in order to transition from VTOL to or from vertical takeoff and landing to straight horizontal flight. And here is a demonstration of the hovering right here. So obviously it can hover. Landing is a little bit bumpy, a little, little sketchy on the landing, but also I'm kind of noticing this is just not a car. Like just looking at these wheels, this thing is not designed for driving down a road or a highway at all. This is just an aerial transport vehicle. And I mean, we basically already have personal aircraft. They're called planes. We have those. I guess the big difference is that this is actually a VTOL instead of like a helicopter or like a biplane or something like that. So unfortunately for the Skycar, they were never able to do any horizontal flight tests. But luckily for us, they have this super high quality visual representation of what it could have looked like if this thing actually became a success. All right, so we're taking off from San Francisco here. Very important knowledge to have. This is how it takes off in San San Francisco. This may not be representative of other states or cities or anything like that. So this is actually really important information here for me. It looks like these wings were designed to fold. Um, speaking of the way, oh, and the uh, landing gear comes up. Automated folding wings and landing gear retraction. Okay. I don't know about landing gear retraction, if I'm gonna be able to fit it in such a small vehicle in Trailmakers. All right, and now you can see as the propellers turn into horizontal mode, it is transitioning into horizontal flight mode. Yep, automated transition into from hover to forward flight. So now there is one big problem I'm seeing with this, at least in trail makers that uh, I'm gonna run into that I feel like should have been an issue in real life too with this design. Notice where the lift is. I only see one set of wings on, one set of horizontal wings on this thing and it is pretty much in the tail. Like you have the person up here, you have these engines and everything. Here, let me fast forward. Here's a better view. So this is all, yeah, oh, look at this, look at this. So all of the, I'm presuming all of the lift is coming from right here because these propellers are now facing forward. So how is this thing really supposed to maintain level flight? I guess unless these propellers in the front are gonna have a trim on them to actually give some upwards lift in the front as it's going horizontal. Because this thing, this thing doesn't even have any elevators. Like the tail fin, this is like the only lifting surface on this thing. Like I'm no aerodynamics expert, but based on my experience in trail makers, there's nothing keeping this horizontally stable in air when it's flying forward. It's just gonna nose down. I'm really unsure about how this is gonna work out aerodynamically speaking, but I'm willing to give it a try. All right, so folding wings, rotating propellers. Let's see if I can get this thing to actually work as intended. 
All right, so in my design, I'm actually gonna give it a little bit of help here. So between the body and the propellers that are supposed to tilt, I'm actually gonna put wings here. Now, as far as my research goes, this wasn't the original design, how it was intended to work, but um, I think it's gonna help us try to create an actual successful recreation here. Well, I guess, is it a successful recreation if the original design wouldn't have worked and this one does? Aren't we essentially failing at an accurate recreation at that point? Well, regardless, I actually wanna see this thing fly. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. All right, so propellers, this is actually going to be kind of interesting to try to work this hitbox into some type of ducted fan. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to contain this propeller easily. All right, so here's my best attempt at creating a small scale ducted fan, uh, at least with what Trailmakers is giving me to work with here. These propellers do not have a radially symmetrical design, so it was very hard to try to work it in here, and the hitbox is a little bit weird. It doesn't let me build underneath the propeller over here, but it lets me build underneath the propeller over here, even though it's going to be taking up the same space. All right, let's add this to the other side. Side. And then it looks like we have the same thing. Man, these are massive in com compared to the body I started with. I might need to make some adjustments. This is a little bit awkward. So I was looking into the history of this thing before this video, and this thing actually got a lot of really good press back in the day. Like the inventor Mahler even had his own TED talk about it and everything. People were convinced that it was only like a couple years away from seeing personal use. But for some reason, investors were just not too keen on the idea to keep throwing their money at it. All right, so without putting any of the wings on this thing, let's see if these have enough power to lift ourselves up. Oh, look at that. And seat controls actually give us the power to uh, be able to give ourselves some pitch and roll in the air like this. I've already programmed it to be able to transition into horizontal, so let's see how that works. Here we go. Okay. Well, this isn't too bad. I mean, we don't have enough lift yet. It's really not powerful. Like... These do not have a lot of power right now, but really the only thing left to add to this design are the wings. So that should just give us more lift to be able to fly actually horizontal because right now there's really not a lot of lift with this thing. And then we have the issue of actual flight controls. I don't really have any flight controls right now. I just have seat leaning. All right, so I'm gonna put my wings more centered on the body instead of way at the back of the tail. Just cause it just just makes more sense that way to me. All right, and these wings have this weird bend to them. I'm gonna make my own version kind of like this. Not really sure what that's gonna add to the functionality, but let's hope for the best here. All right, folding wings have been added. Ooh, look at that, fancy. That's, I think, pretty accurate to how it was originally supposed to work. Now let's see about uh, getting off the ground now with all this stuff. Oh boy. All right, now, uh, uh, there's an issue. All right, I need more lift in the back. I don't know if these back propellers back even farther. Eh, no, 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 okay. All right, this is an issue. All right, so I fixed my vertical takeoff programming. You know what, I need to give this thing some wheels, but uh, before I do that, let me show you what I've done here. So you may notice that by default, the front propellers are actually angled forward just a little bit. And that gives less lift, less vertical lift to the front as I take off vertically. And you can see my wings once I, they automatically come down once I get off the ground a certain amount. So now I'm trying to actually program because there's an issue with that. If I try to transition into horizontal flight mode and I have both the front and the back propellers go down at the same rate from this position, they're starting now at different angles. So that means that they reach horizontal at different times, which causes the transition to just do all kinds of weird things to my pitch. So now I'm actually trying to adjust the speed at which the front and the back transition so that the back and the front end up getting horizontal at the same time. So right there, the back was a little bit too fast. So I'll change the speed to 0 0.07. And let's see how that looks when I press the button. Oh, that was pretty close. Let's see how it feels now. All right, we take off. Wings come down. I need to slow that down. That's a little bit too fast. Transition to horizontal. Ooh, that felt really nice, actually. And now I'm nosing down, though. Yeah, I'm definitely pitching down. Got way too much lift in the back. Can't pitch back up, but I have an idea for that. So like I was saying before, I think putting a trim on these front ones so they're not perfectly horizontal, but giving a little bit of an upwards lift might be ideal. So I'm gonna do 85 degrees instead of 90 degrees, which means that they should, I hope, uh, they should give a five degree upwards pitch to the front, allowing me to fly more level. Well, at least this is better. I can fly level now. I don't have any other control surfaces. I'm only using seat tilting right now, which gives me very, very limited. I can't turn. I can't turn at all. 
Hey, it actually handled that pretty well. Oh yeah, another big issue with this thing was the potential for engine failure. If one of your engines failed, you're kind of done. But apparently, I guess they had a, uh, a backup emergency parachute that would let you float gently to the ground in the case of engine failure. In other words, you were not going to safely be able to glide yourself back down and land like a regular plane. Okay, that is really weird. I can't take off straight up anymore. All I did was add a servo right here and a servo right here to give myself some pitch on these wingtips. And that was enough to completely change how this thing takes off somehow. Wow, that's really weird. I deleted them and now it's fine. There we go. All right, I use steering hinges instead. You can see them in work right there as I try to pitch, but I, I roll, but I have no pitch. So now for pitch, my plan is to actually program it into these servos that uh, turn the propellers, because I should be able to change the angles of these propellers to affect my pitch. Okay, I've done a lot of programming to this thing with logic and stuff to try to make this thing have the most control possible. It is still terrible. It is still absolutely terrible, especially in VTOL mode to try to control this thing accurately. But I've put a lot of logic into the into the propellers so now my pitch is assisted by propellers so i can angle the propellers this applies to whether i'm in vtol or horizontal flight mode this helps me pitch a lot when i'm in hover mode i can try to yaw by doing this to the propellers they both go opposite each other to try to create like a yaw effect but it's really really difficult it is not an easy thing to keep under control but you know what let's uh, go ahead and put this thing to a test with a maiden voyage here and my goal is to take off vertically obviously because we have a vtol here fly around horizontally with the transition try to transition back to vertical and land on the helipad up there again all right let's see if we can bring the sky car into reality in a, in a video game Vertical takeoff going well so far. I actually did put folding landing gear. Check it out. All the landing gear folds up. The wings fold out. Now we are ready. Transitioning with the with the uh, propellers here into horizontal flight mode. There we go. We can see the uh, the roll is aided by the wing tips there, and the pitch. Uh oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh boy, I don't really, oh boy. I don't really have any yaw during horizontal flights right now, but uh, I think I can deal without it. Pitch and roll should be enough. But yeah, you can see the pitch is aided by the propellers pitching up and down. The front ones pitch up to pitch up and the back ones pitch down and vice versa. All right, this thing might need some yaw though. This thing has some really bad floating. This doesn't have a lot of power though. Like I can't gain a lot of altitude with this thing. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get up to the to the helipad. I'm gonna try though. I can gain altitude, but I, it's very, very gradual. This thing is not very powerful with these propellers. All right, I'm gonna try my best to get up to that helipad. This, is, this might take a while. And man, the back is so floaty. Really, really floaty. I can't, like, I'm trying to level off, but my back keeps floating around, which to me, all right, this, this thing needs some adjustments. We definitely need some adjustments here. All right, I just really need to give the back some more resistance, so I'm going to put a powered tail fin sticking out back like that, and that should give us some more directional stability. All right, I had to do it to get this thing to fly well at all, but I've added another set of propellers at the back of the ducts in reverse, so I've essentially doubled the power output, but we just really needed that power. And now, look at that. Look at that liftoff right there. So much more power. All right, now transitioning into horizontal flight mode. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, oh actually now, now I have too much lift in the front because I have double the power. I need to adjust that angle. All right, but this is working, this is promising. Okay, now I think it's ready for its official test. Vertical takeoff, easiest part of it all. Wings come down, transition into horizontal flight. Look at that, I've adjusted the angle, so now check it out. Let me get facing away from that rock there. Um, now this is what happens if I'm just pressing spacebar, not doing any other controls. Really nice horizontal flight, only a slight nose down. I could adjust that, but like it's, I really like how there's not a lot of resistance right now. It's really easy for me to fly horizontal now. Okay, let's even do some, a little bit of stunt flying. Let's go underneath this archway, and then we'll go around this island, make our way back up to the helipad and see if we can the vertical oh no too close to the ground too close to the ground oh that's gonna affect my controls uh. all right there we go <laughs> i forgot that i have it all sensor controlled so when i start getting close to the ground the landing gear comes out the wings go up 
And uh, yeah, I think the transition to to VTOL for landing is going to be the tough part. But there is the helipad. So much easier to climb an altitude with these with these extra fan or these extra uh, propellers. All right, here we go. We're approaching. This is where I think it's going to get really shaky, really shaky, really quick. All right, transitioning back into VTOL mode. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man, I don't have a lot of roll control in VTOL mode. I need some type of roll control to do this in a stable way. Uh, oh, my goodness. Okay, we're coming down. We're coming down. We're coming down. Okay, that was actually way better than I was expecting it to be. I got lucky there that I leveled off, like, right before I hit the ground. That was actually a really nice landing. Purely luck-driven, but not bad at all. Dare I try a reverse trip from the helipad back down to the, uh, the, the aircraft carrier. Last time I did this, it was not worth it. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna, I'm just nosediving now at this point. All right. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and head into VTOL mode right about now. I think I pressed the button, didn't I? Yep, there we go. Okay. And... That actually worked really well. I'm really surprised at that. That was impressive. So although the real life sky car may never have become a mainstream reality or any flying car for that matter, really, um, at least we were able to make a successful version. Okay, this is not, I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> All right, we're just doing tricks. We're just doing stunts on the uh, transition now. I really don't know why I did that. But at least we were able to make a successful version in Trail Makers that was able to take off, do a horizontal flight, which the original prototype was never able to demonstrate and uh, do a successful landing as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this recreation, you'll probably enjoy some other recreations that you can find on the channel on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.